to the Font Gear Quick Tips video series. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to convert a PostScript Type 1 font to the newer OpenType font file format using Font Exchange for Macintosh. First thing I'm going to do is uh, double click the Font Exchange application icon to launch Font Exchange. You can see there, we'll dismiss the splash screen. And I've got a font on the desktop called Device. It is a PostScript Type 1 font. And I'm just going to drag that folder right into the main window of Font Exchange. And when I do, you'll notice that these conversion options become available to you. Um, font Exchange can convert to all of these different font formats: PostScript Type 1, TrueType, Web Fonts, or OpenType. And you'll notice that if you choose either PostScript Type 1 or TrueType, uh, that this conversion option for either Macintosh or Windows also becomes available. Uh, when I choose Web Fonts, uh, that option becomes grayed out because web fonts work on both Mac and Windows through your web browser. Uh, and then OpenType works on both Mac and Windows as well. And so that option is uh, grayed out. So since we're going to convert to OpenType today, I've selected OpenType as the format I want to convert my font to. And then I'm going to just click the Convert Fonts button. Uh, when I do that, it'll ask me where I want to convert the font to, where do I want to save it. I'm going to create a new folder called converted fonts right on the desktop. Create that and then I'll just click select folder and you can see how quickly Font Exchange was able to convert uh, that file to OpenType and here is our new OpenType version of the device font. You'll also notice that after conversion the original font remains in its original folder. So that's not been changed or moved but a new version, the OpenType version, um, has been created. And so you can see very simply, very easily uh, how this can be done using uh, Font Exchange. 